In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my productive night routine. It's currently 4.52 p.m. and I'm going to go have dinner. Tonight, I'm going to try to get these three things done. But this morning, I had so many post-it notes here and I've cleared a lot of them. I love using post-its for my reminders and stuff because I don't want to go to sleep with post-its on my wall. So I make sure to get the stuff done so I can go to sleep with a plain wall. So that's a little tip for you guys, but let's go make dinner. Today, I'm making quinoa. I've decided to be lazy and to just mug microwave this because it literally tastes the same microwaved and cooked on the stove so why bother got the quinoa so I'm gonna be eating my quinoa I cooked some green peppers to put in it and I also put avocado in it I'm watching Maggie McDonald's vlog while I eat I just finished dinner, so I'm going to put some socks on and take a walk outside. I have made a new promise to myself that I'm going to walk 10,000 steps every day for the rest of the summer and hopefully throughout the school year. It just like keeps me active every day and it's a very good like measurable goal. Also, I've kind of been lonely today because my sister and brother are at a volleyball tournament. I've been like an only child for the whole day. I'm gonna bring my phone and AirPods so I can listen to a podcast while I walk. If you guys are ever wondering what podcast I listen to, to, I'll leave a list right over here of the podcast I listen to. My favorite at the moment is the Ed Milet show. I just can't walk in silence if it's not the morning. Like I feel like when it's the morning I can spend more time in like solitude but when it's later in the day I just need to be a bit distracted. It's so pretty out. A fly literally just went on my nose. <laughs> my parents are playing Batman together. So cute. I finished my walk. I currently have 9,000 steps. I don't walk all the way to 10,000 because I usually get 10,000 just naturally walking around the house later on, but I need to edit. So the weird thing about my uploading schedule is that it is kind of unstable. I post Mondays and Fridays, or at least I try to. On Monday, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so much time for Friday's upload, and then I get Friday's upload, and I'm like, oh wait, I have to upload on Monday. And I know I don't like have to upload on Monday, but like I like to keep my upload schedule just for myself to feel productive. So recently, I've been trying to be more ahead of the schedule and think more ahead. So we're really going to be on the editing grind tonight. So I've been on my grind, but I'm going to tidy up my room and then take a bath. I gotta do some laundry, just gotta put a few things away, but I'm so excited to just wind down and take a bath today. I'm popping in here to tell you guys that if you're enjoying my videos so far, make sure to turn on your post notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And I also have a vlog channel that I haven't really told you guys about, so definitely check that out if you want some more content. It's so hot. It's burning. Bruh. You know what? I'll adapt to it. Is this normal? But yeah, guys, recently I've been like super into baths. I actually bought a ton of stuff from Lush that I'm going to show you. I've literally been a bath bomb addict. We're gonna be using this bath bomb. It's like blue, purple, and green, and I'll put the name right over here. I feel so relaxed when I have a bath bomb in. So as this bath bomb is fizzing, I wanna to talk to you guys about habits, the whole productive morning and night routine thing, and how baths like these can seriously make such a big difference in my life. Like I've kinda of gotten addicted to my habits. It's a little bit bad. Like I have started to love waking up early. Like I love having gotten so much stuff done before like 12 p.m. And when you feel that amazing feeling of like, oh my gosh, like I'm changing as a person, I'm becoming so productive, you get addicted to that. So Okay, I feel like you guys probably don't care, but I'm just gonna open up about it It's also kind of hard to hang out with people sometimes because it just feels like we're running on different clocks to be honest I mean, You guys have to see this. It's beautiful I'll hang out with people in the morning and everyone is so tired and I feel awake And then we'll be hanging out at night and I want to go to sleep and everyone's ready to like party So that's a bit tough and it's like no one's fault It's just it can feel like lonely sometimes, you know what I mean? But I know like ultimately it's for my own good and also my family gets so annoyed with me for my schedule. There are just some family movie nights that I can't attend because they want to watch a movie at like 11. And then how am I supposed to wake up so early if I go to sleep at 11? Anyways, deep talks aside, I'm gonna relax. I fall in love tonight. 
Yeah. I'm literally sweating. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to take a hot bath in the summer. I got out of the bath and now I'm gonna hop straight on into the hygiene stuff. If you guys have watched my past routine videos, I usually just stay strictly to Curology. But recently I've been using the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser along with Curology's moisturizers. But I've just heard such great things about CeraVe so I wanted to like try it and see if there's a difference. But I still love Curology, don't worry. I fall in love. I definitely used to struggle with late night snacking pretty often. So a tip I have for you guys is to try to brush your teeth maybe earlier because I tend to not late night snack when I've already brushed my teeth. But if you're still hungry and need to fuel your body, then definitely like don't take this too far. As I'm winding down for bed, I like to put my hair in two braids because I really like waking up to like wavy hair and it also reduces the frizz in my hair. So I love doing this. You'll never see me really with like pin straight hair. Yeah, I just hit my 10,000 steps step goal on my watch so I'm gonna put my watch away and charge it my watch is literally my best friend I also really like refilling my water so that I have water to drink at night and also in the morning <laughs> So I know I really don't need to say this, but I'm sorry if it seems like I'm literally obsessed with everything I'm talking about. I get very excited to talk about habits and just self-improvement because it's genuinely something I care so much about. And as you guys can probably tell, I don't have a lot of people in my life that I can really go to about this stuff. And I'm not trying to like say that in like an I'm superior way because I am not, I am not perfect. I struggle in many ways, but I love making these videos for you guys. But anyways. So before I go to sleep, I have a little bit of a routine set in place. I first read my Bible because I always try to keep my relationship with God my top priority. And then I move on to like my manifestation journal. That seems contradictory. I'm very confused. I'm young and learning. Um, in this journal, I reflect a lot. I write about what I'm grateful for. So I'll write down these like prompts to myself. So what ways have I been a giver today? What have I learned today? And how has today been an investment to my future? By writing things down, I am subconsciously attracting more of those great things into my life and I do something similar to this in the morning I also script which is where you write like your goals or a story in present tense and then I'll end the night off with a book that just sets me right to sleep this book is the power of habit and it actually just came in today so I've never read this book before so I'll let you guys know how I feel about it that is all I have for you guys today thank you so much for watching I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in the next one